वेलकम जी नमस्ते तारक सिन्हा जी नमस्ते टू एवरीबडी गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल्सो वी हैड गिवन दिस असाइनमेंट टू ट्राई टू सी दिस एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द बी टू ब्लॉक विद इन अस हाउ वी सिलेक्ट एंड टेस्ट यू नोटिस इन वेरियस एक्टिविटीज थ्रू आउट द डे एनालाइजिंग थिंग्स कंपेयरिंग थिंग्स trying to observe our desires how they are associated with some feeling whatever we were able to observe and to see that these all this keeps changing um like every few minutes if you actually it's every moment but even if we are able to see every few minutes or at some point throughout the day you will notice that these activities keep changing within you and also notice that the natural acceptance is the same at all times both of these are happening within you one part is changing with time place person the other part the natural acceptance is the same at all times and we said you can mention two three examples of each activity that you were able to observe within yourself are you referring to like when we say sometimes that to have the understanding in completeness something like Haan. that yes ha yeah okay so as an example right um for instance i may have thought that the human being is largely the body or i may not have paid attention to it and we just tend to assume that the human being is the body now mm. this is an assumption isn't it mm. then i get these proposals about the self and the body in coexistence and that is what the human being is now with mm. this proposal when i am exploring with you know seeing the needs are different the activities are different response is different and i start living it in my life hmm it becomes understanding for me isn't it hmm that i understand understand meaning not just that i have the information in bonus it income. actually starts influencing my activities in day to day life hmm isn't it so now that part i have understood you can say acha when it is in my living hmm now with this supposing i um can see this my feeling within myself when we do the exercises we focus on the feeling so if i am able to see the feeling within myself and i am able to observe this that when my feeling is in line with the natural acceptance hmm then i feel calm so when everybody is talking about this harmony within when we talk about you know the natural acceptance and the feeling and when the feeling is in line with the natural acceptance you are calm you are comfortable you are in harmony there is no conflict all these are words this is information right. now when i observe it in myself hmm. right i can see this that when hmm. i have the right feeling i am calm when i have a feeling that is in line with my natural acceptance i feel calm when i am hmm. able to see this for myself now i understand what is meant by harmony within correct Yeah, in the beginning, many people ask, "What is this harmony?" Hmm. But when you actually observe it within yourself, now you know. So you have understood hmm. the harmony within yourself. Hmm. So like that, in small bits, we keep understanding things the way they are, actually, or what what is the meaning behind it, right? Okay. And ultimately, we have to be able to see. this harmony not in myself only but also in the family in the society 
harmony of myself with the body harmony in the nature in the existence all of this hmm. so when i have this whole picture it's like you know a, a jigsaw puzzle what is a jigsaw puzzle you know what that is like you have this big puzzle with lot of pieces that you have to put together Mm-hmm. and each piece goes only in a particular place you can put it anywhere you know right mm-hmm. so that's like a game now it's like this so you have some pieces of the puzzle you seem to be able to see but the whole picture is not clear but as you keep going ultimately till we get to realization now when we are able to become aware of this activity of realization within us or we are looking from that point in mm. continuity mm. we are able to see everything in this existence exactly the way that it is mm. not by through the assumption so now mm. you can say that you have right understanding in completeness okay like that Mm-hmm. isn't it till Thank then you. there will always be some part missing mm-hmm. because till you are able to see or to have this realization within that activity if you are able to reach that only then you are able to see space mm-hmm. which is very subtle mm-hmm. and once you see space only then you become aware of this whole you know the base for this whole thing that we keep talking you know the relationship is there it's already there and all of that that may have been like information but now when you see that space and you see the units submerged in space and you see that how we are all interconnected then you see yes now nobody has to convince you or tell try to tell you what it is because now you can see it you have understood mm-hmm. bring it in your living so for instance i gave this example yesterday also actually mm-hmm. but anyway for instance if you look at selecting tasting mm-hmm. right now we have put tasting as the state activity and selecting as the dynamic activity mm-hmm. what that only means is that if you have you know something that you have a taste of correct now that is there within you rasgulla in you meaning okay rasgulla ha uh-huh. <laughs> so supposing you have the rasgulla once hmm uh-huh. and you like the taste hmm uh-huh. now even though that rasgulla is not there you are not tasting it right now this moment later you know when you recall you can have that memory of what that rasgulla tastes like hmm. isn't it you hmm. may not be actually having that sensation right now you may not be experiencing the sensation right now but you can recall how it tastes like isn't hmm. it hmm. that so that you can say that taste is already there in you hmm. and on that basis of that taste you select at some point hmm so you may not have planned to go to buy a rasgulla or something but mm. you finish your work and you are going past the sweet shop you are walking past and you see okay sweet shop and you remember that last time you had rasgulla from this place it was very tasty very mm. nice very soft so you go in and you select or within you before you actually you know go to buy you are thinking okay let me go and get a rasgulla and then you give the instruction to the body and the body goes there to the shop hmm isn't it hmm so on the basis of the taste that was already there within you that state that that activity that you know you could recall from within you on the basis of that you selected it at that time hmm isn't it hmm. and this is not just for one thing it it goes on for so many things hmm so like we were mentioning no if you go to buy a phone hmm even before you have gone to buy the phone so much process happens within you no correct 
So if you saw some phone with somebody, you liked it. So you can say the taste is there within you now. On the basis of that taste, mm. sometime later, weeks later, you go out and or you see something on the internet mm. and you see many phones, but you mm. recall that phone that you mm. saw with your mm. friend that you liked a lot. So that taste, on the basis of that taste of what you saw, mm. now you select that okay, let me go for this phone. Mm -hmm. So like that, we keep doing this. On the mm -hmm. basis of a taste within us, mm -hmm. we select something. Mm -hmm. So while tasting and selecting is largely to do with the outside, with the your interaction with the outside, mm -hmm. what is usually linked mostly to your sense organs of the body. Okay. So touch, taste, smell, hearing, so on. If you go to the next activity, a uh, slightly higher activity where you are, um, uh, where you have the thoughts. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to the thoughts, you can see this state activity comparing and dynamic activity analyzing. Mm. So, like we were saying, you know. Now, if you went to buy the rasgulla, mm -hmm. or you're thinking about buying the rasgulla, mm -hmm. then you're thinking about, should I, um, you know, use Paytm or will I use um, maybe cash or Google Pay or how else I can do? Maybe use my debit card. Hmm. Now, for various things, you will have various reasons, no? Mm -hmm. What is the advantage of using Google Pay? What is the advantage of using debit card? Why one should use? So that process of how to go about it. So you have many options hmm. or many, uh, you can compare all these things, no? Mm -hmm. So you have some basis. On the basis of this, you are analyzing. Did he? You go back to the desire. Mm -hmm. Desire is actually wanting to, it's about what you want to, like you, it, it is about being. Uh -huh. So if you say you have a desire to buy a big house, uh -huh. so it's not that you are, you know, the desire was actually to be happy, isn't it? And uh -huh. somewhere you have associated being happy with having a big house. So you think your desire is to buy a big house. But actually, if you look at it, Ultimately, that has to do with the outside only, hmm. what you are getting outside. Hmm. But if we are able to see this, we will notice that every desire is associated with a feeling. Correct. And ultimately, it is related to my being happy. I, hmm. have, I may have assumed that I will be happy when I have a big house. I may have assumed I will be happy when I buy a new phone. Hmm. So all of this is already something that um, actually the desire is to be happy. Hmm. At the root of it, I want to be happy. Hmm. But because I don't see anything else inside, my higher activities may be blank. I am not able to access them right now. I am not aware mm -hmm. of them at all. Correct. So I am trying to see this. I am trying to get this happiness from whatever I see outside. Mm -hmm. So my desire is coming from outside right now, mostly, mm -hmm. largely, mm -hmm. to begin with. Isn't mm -hmm. it? So it mm -hmm. could be sensation like this thing of the rasgulla. Now, it may not mm -hmm. have been my desire, 
but i saw an ad or i saw the shop and now it becomes my desire let me have rasgulla so now my desire is being motivated by sensation from out Sen- similarly i may have some preconditioning so hmm. somebody told me that um when you buy things that are packaged properly in the shops then they are you know neat and clean and you will not get sick but if you just buy from some open place outside you may fall sick hmm so now my desire gets colored by that preconditioning hmm so that same rasgulla i see on the street somebody is selling i don't get from there my desire hmm. is not to have that my desire is to go to the shop and get it from there because i am working on that preconditioning that it should be packaged nicely it should be from a neat clean big shop only then it is clean maybe earlier i had a bad experience i had a stomach infection by eating something from outside like this so then i avoid now i have this preconditioning that if i have to eat that rasgulla i must not take from that place outside i must get it from the shop Hmm. So now, if you see, many times our desire is almost like an expectation from the outside. Uh-huh. But once we open up this activity of contemplation within us, mm-hmm. right? Then, or when we become aware of this activity, now mm-hmm. that drives our desire. That is the state activity because once we have been able to uh-huh. see this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. once i see relationship hmm. now that is driving my desire hmm. so now my feeling will be of relationship hmm. earlier when this part was not visible to me or i was not having access to it my desire was coming from outside and my feeling was associated with whatever i was say i had this preconditioning somebody said that you um should uh, associate only with people of your class and um don't play with you know as a child if i am told that you should not play with uh, people with dirty clothes and who are just playing on the street and all that now i may have assumed my relationship with those who are um say in my house or within the family but those who are outside playing on the street i may have assumed that you know i am not i don't have a feeling of relationship for those possible who no? i mean i'm not saying personally for you correct but, so now when i start seeing you know i contemplate and i refer to my natural acceptance i find i have i want to be related to all yeah love that is ah uh, meaning at this point i may not be having that feeling within me for all hmm. i may be just seeing something that you know that person who is playing on the street also i may yeah. be able to see my relatedness with that person right now mm-hmm. correct so at that moment what's going to happen my desire will be associated with a feeling of relationship hmm with this feeling of relationship now you know if i go to my desire will be perhaps to express this feeling of relationship to the other so for that my thought process how it will be how how to express whether i should go and um you know say something to that person or what to do how to interact all those thoughts may be going on so i'll analyze different things shall i go and offer some food to that person shall i do this shall i do that so many options so many things on the basis of which i'll be comparing things within me and ultimately i may choose something on the basis of 
taste you can say or you know you can when now when your um your activity is being driven from the inside inside so the com- contemplation like so it will be static mode then state activity now ah, that okay. based on that contemplation you already mm-hmm. have this thing about mm-hmm. that relationship with say some other human beings mm-hmm. it may not be there in completeness so you may not be ah. able to see everything correct but slowly as you keep contemplating mm-hmm. that becomes kind of fixed in you ha ha that yes i am related to all mm-hmm. and now my focus shifts from you know getting something from outside to seeing my role my participation mm-hmm. so earlier i may have been complaining about people in the house people here there you know the government is like this people are like this nobody listens my wife is like this my husband is like this children are like that we keep complaining mm. but once we see you know the contemplation is opened up now i can see within myself my relatedness and my role my participation mm. now the complaints stop <laughs> because now i can see that the other is like me mm. and i start seeing what i can do to help the other person now i may be able to see that when the other is doing all this they themselves are disturbed mm-hmm. so i stop complaining because i can see i have concern for the other i feel related to the other and mm-hmm. i feel how can i help this person correct so now my focus shifts from complaining about them to yeah. trying to help them mm-hmm. so the complaint stop and now my desire is always associated with that feeling of relationship mm-hmm. isn't it Correct. on the basis of this contemplation within what i could see within now my desire gets motivated by that at that moment i do that isn't it mm. or i want to do something and then on the basis of that desire now my whole thought process expectation everything comes according to that and my behavior is accordingly hmm. but if that contemplation part is not yet active in me then i don't see the relationship Correct. now when i have a when i don't see the relationship complain i have a feeling of opposition of opposition when i have a feeling of opposition i am focusing on the differences hmm. now i have all these complaints because Correct. i feel they are not like me i am seeing all the differences and now my thought process expectation behavior everything goes according to that isn't it mm. so ultimately this focal point of my feeling my desire whether it's coming from outside or whether it's coming from inside is a very mm. big difference correct correct because only when it's coming from inside i am i am actually accessing or referring to my natural acceptance and getting it hmm so slowly these you know higher activities also become a part of me as i understand them or as i am able to access that activity correct then it becomes a part of me it comes in my living hmm uh, all my lower activities start coming in line hmm Okay. till it becomes a part of or till it is my actual state activity i have become aware of it fully till then i may keep fluctuating sometimes it's like this sometimes it's like that ah correct indefinite indefinite behavior ha like. yes correct but ultimately when i can see that when i can see my participation now there is no point complaining immediately i start looking at what to do how to fix right. things what to do what can i do what uh, what would be my my role in that case? yeah correct so like that as we keep going up you know you have some state within you on the basis of which you um choose to you know that dynamic activity at that moment to mm. decide mm. okay mm mm-hmm. 
I mean, we have put this in B1 as the, the activities that we may not be aware of. So to begin with, we are not aware of this contemplation, no? Okay. When I am contemplating slowly, I this is the first um, activity within me that um, I might be able to see when I'm moving up from below, from B to block. To, to begin with, you know, my focus may be only on selecting tasting. What I like, I go for that. What I dislike, I don't go for that. A small child whose brain is not yet fully developed may not be able to analyze things properly. Isn't it? So no. maybe going largely by selecting tasting to begin with, then, you know, slowly is able to go up to comparing, analyzing, right? Okay. And many times, even the desire, we are not able to see really. Whatever is our expectation, we think that is our desire. Like, I want to buy a house. Now, this is actually something outside. And I think that is my desire. But my desire is actually to be happy. I may have assumed that if I buy a house from outside, I will become happy. So actually that buying a house has to do with what I'm seeing outside, no? Yes. yes so slowly we develop these or we are able to have access to these activities. So when I don't see any other activity inside, largely by and large, most people will have this activities in the B2 block becoming active and the B1 block is still like you can say dormant those activities are there within that but we don't have access to them we don't see them isn't it so we keep looking outside and so our desire also seems to be everything seems to be motivated from outside very little seems to come from within like we keep saying in the workshop also right yeah our desires are mostly driven by preconditioning and sensation and very few come from the natural acceptance. Okay. But slowly, as we start contemplating, now, you know, with the contemplation, the first thing we are able to see is the relationship. Okay. Now that drives my desire. All right. But because it is not yet, it's dormant mostly. It's not, I don't have access to it. Therefore, it is shown in a different color, a different block as a B1 block because that is how it is. We generally are working with largely B2. You, when you observe it within yourself, you will be able to see that. Once you start that, you know, now how to go about how to open up this B1 block in us if it's not active. So even if you are doing just with the B2 block and you don't see any of these higher activities, you have a glimpse of that pure part within you in the form of the natural acceptance. So first and foremost, we have to see what is happening within, in the B2 block, isn't it? Within yeah. ourselves. So see these lower activities within yourself and on the basis of that, especially the feeling, once you can see your feeling within you, then you can say where it is coming from, how it is being driven, isn't it? Yes, baby. Yes. So if I'm if my contemplation hasn't awakened, or I have not awakened to the activity of contemplation, then I may not be able to see the relationship. I may have assumed that only my family members is who I'm related to, everybody else I'm not related to. Isn't it? Yeah, yes. It so once I become aware of this activity of contemplation, then on the basis of this, what I can see within, I can see my relationship with others. On the basis of this activity within me, now my desire, my feeling gets driven by that rather than from outside. But because it is dormant, I'm not having access to it. Therefore, it has been shown like this as the B1 block. 
this is the whole purpose that what we are doing the exercises for is to open up these higher activities become aware of them till we come to the highest activity of realization realization because it's already there i just have to realize it but we are not able to see all that because so much of confusion conflict uh so much is happening in the b2 block isn't it if you can see their intention yeah right if you can see that their intention is pure just like yours and if you can see your role if you can see you know that the other themselves is disturbed they are lacking in competence what do you need to do you need to help them you need to improve their competence all that you need to be able to see is do they seem to have less competence than you or more competence than you that's it mm-hmm. isn't it yeah if so there seems to be less than you then you take responsibility to help them okay. if if it seems to be more than yours then you take um, you learn from them that's yeah. all that is what you really need other yeah. than that you don't have to have no so just see dialogue that they are referring to their natural acceptance and the feeling is of natural acceptance in them so then you will know like no, just no you a... just see their intention mm mm-hmm. mm they may or yeah. may not be referring to their natural acceptance but their natural acceptance is same as yours this you can see see yeah yeah so you can see that their intention is pure now if their intention is pure what is lacking is competence yes that com- lack of competence may be not referring to the natural acceptance because they don't understand they don't see that hmm. so how you can help them it will begin with first and foremost out of concern for them hmm. that whatever they are doing in terms of the behavior they are doing because of lack of competence not because their intention is bad yeah yeah that that like i mean that one can see yes yeah yes so on the basis of that we see our role you know yeah we participate in that we try to help them <coughs> yes okay you don't need to know too much about their competence yes okay we'll stop here we have crossed our time also we we'll, uh, put some um, assignment in the group on the lower activities and how we can work on opening up the higher activities and then tomorrow we will start with um, just a little bit of the um, um observations and go directly to the exercise one okay so-